welcome back. We still got this mess of wall sconces to take care of. And I did a little file testing and it turns out most of this is actually brass. So we're gonna try to uh you know separate the non-brass and uh get them cut up and put in a crucible, make something out of them other than wall sconces. Let's get a weight and see how much they weigh before we take them apart. Well, got my brand new scale out. Still got the blue film on it. And it says uh, 12.30 pounds. So, that's what we got. We got 12 pounds. And uh, in kilograms, 5.6 kilograms. All right, let's get it tore apart, see how much of it's uh, usable. What in the hell? Fucking kidding me? As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I take a look in my life and realize there's nothing left Cause I've been blasting and laughing for so, so long that Eating my mind, my things on my mind is gone And I ain't never frost a man who didn't deserve it Me be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of You better watch how you talking and where you're walking Or you and your homies might be lying and chalking I really hate to trip, but I got a load As a crook, I see myself in a pistol smoke Oh, I'm the kind of G the little homies wanna be Like on my knees in the night Saying prayers in the street life Been spending most their lives Living in the gangsters' paradise Been spending most their lives Living in the gangsters' paradise Look at the situation they got me facing I can't live a normal life I was raised by the streets So I gotta be down with the hood team Too much television watching Got me chasing dreams I'm an educated fool With money on my mind I got my ten in my hand And a dream in my eye I'm a low-tell gangster Set tripping banger And my homies is down So don't arouse my anger that ain't nothing but a heartbeat away I'm living life do or die, what can I say? I'm 23 now, but will I live to see 24? The way things are going, I don't know Been spending most their lives Living in the gangsters paradise Been spending most their lives Living in the gangsters paradise Keep spending most of our lives living in the gangsters' paradise. Keep spending most of our lives living in the gangsters' paradise. Tell me why are we so blind to see that the words we pray are you and me? The 
power and money, money and the power, minute after minute, hour after hour, everybody's running that hop and they're looking, but going on in the kitchen, that I don't know is cooking. They say I've got to learn, but nobody's here to teach me. They can't understand it, how can they reach me? I guess they can and I guess they won't. I guess they promise that's how I know my life is out of love with who. Been spending most their lives and in the gangsters' paradise. Been spending most their lives and in the gangsters' paradise. Keep spending most our lives and in the gangsters' paradise. Keep spending most our lives living in the gangsters' paradise. Okay, just about done. This is the last one. Unscrew this piece here, pull it out. It's not brass. This whole piece pulls off. Not that. That brass piece, this brass piece, this goes in the garbage. Cut these two wires. Unscrew this piece. That's metal, it goes in the garbage. Got a metal washer and a brass escutcheon. Then you just got to pull the wires out of this. And that's brass. And that's the last of it. We got a nice bucket of brass. That much uh, insulated wire, which appears to be tinned. It might be aluminum, but it appears to be tin wire and a few homeless ants. But, uh, yeah, we got them scrapped out. Let's see what it weighs. After these messages, we'll be right back. From the grape on the vine all the way to you, you'll love Fanta Grape. It's the best of the brews. Forget all the others. They're not as tasty, it's true. Grab a Fanta Grape for you and your crew. Not all superheroes wear capes. Some are purple and come from grapes. Great taste, grape taste, fizzy great grape taste. Choose life, my friend. Choose Fanta Grape. Only the best work in the Fanta Grape team. Top to bottom, the best on the scene. Master soda makers, if you know what I mean. Master Soda Makers, living the dream. When I have this awesome glare that's new, I hope you can put up with it. Oh. Before we melt that brass, we're going to need something to cast. I could do like my buddy scrap to cast and just use ingot molds, but uh, I have a bunch of sand casting stuff, so I might as well use it. I'm going to try to uh, take this bismuth piece right here and cast it in brass. I'm just going to do this one for the camera real quick. Some people use a rolling pin or a rubber hammer or uh, other things to pack the sand. I have found that that's just not necessary.
just using my thumb to press back the, the sand at the, around the edge here so that it can come out clean without ripping a bunch of sand with it which is your main fear when you're doing this is that it won't come out clean if you have any tear outs and they're around the edge you can usually uh, fix it with a file right all it means is it's going to leave extra metal and you can usually remove extra metal but if it pulls out like the eye sockets or the, the features of the of the mold well you pretty much got to start over Find out how bad this is going to be. Not too awful. There's a little bit of tear out right around there, but not not horrible. Now I'm going to put two great big holes through the back. One of them will be my sprue and the other one will be the riser. The riser is supposed to supply extra metal so that when the uh, molded object shrinks it can have a reservoir of metal to uh, to draw from. Of course what usually happens is that the uh, these solidify first and the the uh, actual object shrinks and gets these horrible looking wrinkles on it. I'm not very good. The flasks that I'm using aren't really big enough to make all the extra sprues and stuff. Anyway, I uh, poked that through, cut a little place for us to pour the metal, a little funnel, and then I run the little rod through it here. It's just a skewer so you don't get any dirt and you just pack it with your fingertip so when you pour it, no sand goes down there with it. I think that one's done. I'll set it to the side. I think I got about eight of these to do. But you're not going to have to watch them all. We will see you out at the uh, furnace. Last is missed. After these messages, we'll be right back. Here at Chevrolet, we're always listening. And the message was loud and clear. You know, I always like Chevy trucks. But they're just so dang small. Why don't they make them normal sized? Well, miss, we did just that. Introducing the all-new Chevy Goliath. It's not just a truck. It's a lifestyle. Strapped with a fuel-efficient V16 engine, the Goliath doesn't need roads. It just needs you. The Chevy Goliath. It's not just better than bigger. It's bigger than better. Hey, Ma. Guess what Podge's bomb? 
we got a Goliath. The Goliath, finally, a normal sized truck. Well, we got the pile of brass there, got the scale, got the bucket. Bucket weighs 1.3 pounds. I'm going to tear that out to zero. And we're going to put this brass in this bucket. Okay, got it all in there. Looking at uh, 10.35 pounds. And what it weigh? 12.3. So I lost two pounds. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember how I there it is. Pounds kilogram. 4.7 kilogram. All right. Well, the. Uh, I haven't had the old Devil Forge out at all this year, 2023. Made up plenty of stuff last year. Do have another uh, bone to pick with the old Devil Forge. This is a stainless steel burner. I bought off eBay for $30, counting shipping. This part stainless steel. This part actually came out of a. Uh, some uh, plumbing supplies we had to make it longer. The $30 piece doesn't come with that and that. But uh, I have no idea if it uh, will work or not. Imagine it will. But the uh, the thing is, these devil forges, the burners they come with, and my grandpa would say, they ain't much pumpkin. I mean, there ain't much pumpkin at all. Look at that. Somebody left a crucible full of copper in there. There's my new uh, bottom piece. It's actually a, a brick out of a, like a natural gas furnace. But the points will keep, uh, keep the uh, crucible from sticking. But yeah, you see the see the burner? It's already it's already coming apart. There's a chunk right there. Alright. And as soon as it loses that bell shape on the end, the uh, the jet of hot gases is much more focused so it honestly looks like it burned the crucible on too because it just gets one spot just white hot and the, the I think that's what the bell is for to kind of make the flame go a little bit more open then and you were sitting there saying well Jim you know you used the hell out of that thing you got to expect it not to last forever Okay, that's true, but this is the second one of these I bought. The other one, I mean, there wasn't that much left of it, and uh, I bought a new one for $80. $80 plus shipping from Poland or wherever the blankety blank this thing is made, and it didn't last. It didn't last no time. I could, I'd be lying if I told you how many melts I made with it, but uh, it didn't last six months. You can see it's, it's all to pieces, you know. I'll loosen it up back here and slide it forward, and uh, I'll get a few more melts out of it, and then I'm going to have to replace it with that one there. And honestly, that one's, you know, this is a stainless steel coupler pipe thing. It is thick. It's got some good weight to it. I'm hoping it lasts a lot longer than the old Devil Forge. 
But hey, if I was selling replacements for 80 bucks a piece, I would make them so they wouldn't last too. Absolutely. Let's get this thing, let's get this thing down, move it over there where it belongs, and uh, see about getting some of this brass cut up. We'll be right back with you. What a difference a year makes, eh? Got a few, a very few. Got that late rain as they're ripening, and they split and they rot. Oh well, it's part of it. West Tennessee finds, uh, dude, check out how many items sold. 9,100 items sold. Wow. Yeah. hundred percent positive feedback too. hundred percent positive feedback. And, um, so some of his videos on YouTube are funny because you, you see this right here, eight ounce hand poured. Oh, okay. So what does he sell? He, um, he Damn. goes to thrift stores and he buys stuff and then he resells it. You know, that's part of what he does. But right. he also does <clears throat> poured metals, and he does, like, bismuth, copper, uh, you know, a lot of the alternate metals, uh, lead, uh, stuff like that. And <laughs> so Peter. this, Yeah, you name it, you know, an eight-ounce hand-poured Celtic art bar. I mean, look at that. That's a pretty sweet piece right there. Did he do that? He What's poured that? that? Yeah. He poured he that? that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's got videos of him making the stuff, you know. Well, hey, y'all. They would tell you I, I don't like doing brass. I really don't. Uh, it gives off zinc fumes. You can uh, Google zinc shakes if you want to know what zinc fumes does to a person. So, yeah, I don't much care for it. It's dirty. It gives off lots of fumes, lots of like yellow. Anyway. Uh, the crucible, you can't use the crucible for anything else once you use it for brass. You risk cross-contamination. So I got this old crucible. It's on its last legs. It's got lots of, uh, like borax and stuff still in it. Looks like it's cracked right there. We're going to put it in the Devil Forge, fire it up, see if we can't melt some of that stuff out of there. And if we can, we use this crucible. If not, well, I guess I'll have to sacrifice a different one. Let's uh, put this down in here and fire it up and see if we uh, can't melt some of that crap out of there. Hey! Fire it up! Well, I was not expecting it to melt and come apart like that, considering it's supposed to live most of its life inside of a, a furnace, you know, like a wall heater. But uh, yeah, apparently it was too much for it. It uh, kind of melted and broke and yeah, ain't no good no more. Uh, go on plan B or something. On the uh, on the good side, the uh, crucible's kind of cleared out, so we'll be able to melt that brass.
Well, that one blew slop out, didn't it? I know some of that is spillage, but uh, you see, there's no there's no metal on top like like on those two. It's all spilled out. So that's probably not good. In fact, I'll go so far to say that is definitely that is definitely not good. Got uh, two definites and a possible maybe. And probably not. That was the, uh, that was the, uh, probably bad one. I just noticed I don't have a jug of water out here. A quench, quench jug. It's not horrible, is it? It's upside down, but it's not horrible. Okay, well, we got four left, and we're going to do these in that, that copper because it's getting late in the day. It took me way too long to set everything up, and uh, I honestly don't feel like busting down a bunch more copper to try to get it in that living crucible. So we'll just use this copper here. Be back at you when you get it melted. You're pointed the right way.
Well, all those look like they came out all right. That one was kind of pooching out the side there a little bit. But I uh, didn't see any metal come out. And we got, uh, yeah, got metal in both of the holes, so everything's going to look all right. Let's, uh, let's open it up here in a bit when they cool off and get them out, clean them up, show them to you, call this video done. But, uh, yeah, I'm fairly satisfied with it. Back hurts. We might end up finishing this video tomorrow, but uh, it'll be just a minute for you. So we'll see you then. Hmm. I'd like to stick garden gnomes in this building. Yeah, I guess you would. Oh, hi. Death will find you soon. Not sure you'll be remembered. You're the devil. That little boy has like a thousand freckles, and everybody's all ooh. Like there's goobers on his bod. I'm done listening. <laughs> you know, Ted's always kind of freaky. He eats hair, human hair. He's the first one to say, let's go out and eat hair. It's wonderful now and again. See? Mm, hair. If there's one thing our country doesn't need more of, it's goose diarrhea. <laughs> I heard you got orange rugs here. That's a lot. Hey, could you cut me a rug here? A rug? Yeah, an orange one. Mm, no, we don't make them. I know. This one's a classic. Jordan the centipede taught me a card trick. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, you got happy cheer. Ooh, look. I went down to the summer camp and took a can of gasoline. Don't light the cabins on fire. I wish I couldn't, but it's too late. Oh, well, doesn't that mean you go to jail? No, because I ran away. You know what? I just love to twerk. Holla, 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 holla. I've been testing out some new campaign slogans that are a little less obvious. I need a bogle for the glotch. Stop volution. Your face isn't my face. And that old man just took your spork. If you want boyfriend time, then you must be a girlfriend. I hate pervy records. <laughs> Frank. Hmm, I want to use that. I made a hole and then barfed on the beach. <laughs> I made a hole and then barfed on the beach. I made a hole and then barfed on the beach. This great nation's like a pork pie. Juicy America. Gabe? All of them look pretty good. Some of them look better than others. The uh, silver bars came out pretty good. You can read all the letters and everything, even the small ones down here. And on this one, I put the sprue on that side, right? And it, it obliterated those letters. Still, it's a pretty good looking bar. And I did a couple in brass. We can just hit those a little bit of chrome. Put them straight on eBay. Just like all the rest of them. And we got the Pharaoh's skull here. Came out pretty good, but the, the back of it, see how it's kind of dipped in right there? Yeah. That's from uh, that's good old fashioned shrinkage. All right. Look at this copper one. Notice it didn't do that. Not at all. Don't have that big a problem unless you get bigger pieces of copper. They don't shrink up too bad. And then of course we got this. I don't even know why they did this in copper. I guess because I didn't know which one it was, but it came up pretty good. No uh, 
See what I was talking about? Tear outs. When it tears out, you just end up with an extra little piece of metal that you end up having to cut off. And here's the brass one again. It uh, sunk in in the back, and if you look real close, you're going to see like an air bubble and a dark crack at the bottom of that. So, ain't no telling what the back of that's going to look like once we take the sprues off. But, uh, I'll be honest with you, all in all, I'm happy with this little batch of stuff. That's a pretty good, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good, uh, number of good ones. So, yeah, that one's not perfect, and, you know, the brass ones aren't perfect, but, uh, I ain't really got to be, do they? Anyway, uh, I know you've got to be getting tired of watching YouTube. It's been going on almost for an hour. So, I got to take Joey here to the vet. So, we need to get off the, uh, need to get off the, uh, gonna put the phone down here let y'all go back back about y'all's business i appreciate you watching we'll see you next time who let the cats out man man mountain link who let the cats out the one the only the man mountain link